Well, hello, everybody. Thank you very much. This is some turnout. This is some turnout. And I want to thank New York's finest. They just brought a lot of additions. So we have people, thousands of people outside that can't even get in, but they'll get in eventually. We appreciate it. New York's finest. Hello, New York City, and hello to all of the incredible, tough, strong, hardworking American patriots right here in the Bronx. Who would think? Who would think? I'm thrilled to be back in the city I grew up in, the city I spent my life in, the city I helped build, and the city that we all love, New York City. And I'm here tonight to declare that we are going to turn New York City around, and we are going to turn it around very, very quickly. We're going to bring safety back to our streets. We're going to bring success back to our schools. We're going to bring prosperity back to every neighborhood and every borough of the greatest city in our land. We're going to reduce taxes. We're going to bring businesses and big taxpayers back to New York. Got to bring them back. Got to bring them back. And we're going to make New York bigger, better, and more beautiful than ever before. And that includes right here in the Bronx. And it's going to be done and funded starting on January 20th, directly from our great and beautiful White House. Is that OK? For my whole life, I always thought that this city is a monumental testament to the power of the American spirit and the American dream. When New York started as a small, rugged Dutch trading post near the tip of Manhattan in 1624, what you see around you is nothing more than wilderness and marsh. But by the muscle and backbone and genius of the people of New York, we built the city into the towering forest of iron, aluminum, concrete, and steel. We made this city and state into the capital of global commerce. We turned our hometown into the bustling center of a confident, glamorous American culture. And we inspired the entire world. We inspired the world. No matter where you went on this planet, everyone knew that when you said, I'm a New Yorker, it meant you had smarts, you had grit, you had energy, and above all else, you had, you had heart. Big, big, beautiful heart. Everybody wanted to be here. New York was where you came to make it big. You want to make it big, you had to be in New York. But sadly, this is now a city in decline. My life, I've seen New York through good times and bad, through boom times and crime waves, through market crashes and terrorist attacks. But I've never seen it quite like this. We have filthy encounters of drugged out homeless people living in our places that we've spent so much time with children where they used to play. We have lunatics killing innocent bystanders by pushing them on That's a sad, it's a sad thing. Don't worry. It gets positive. Don't worry. It gets so positive. Remember, we're going to win. We're all winners. We're going to win so big. We're going to make it bigger and better than ever before. Remember that. So don't worry. By the time the other six or 7,000 people get in, it'll be very positive. Our subways are squalid and unsafe. The ceiling tiles are falling down. And they look worse than a third world country. The medians of our highways are crumbling. Our sidewalks are littered with garbage, bottles, and trash. But worst of all, the discarded needles from people that so desperately are in need of help. And we have mobs of migrants fighting our police officers and giving America the middle finger. But we are not going to let this continue. We are not going to abandon our hope and our pride. This city has given us so much, and now it is time that we are going to give it back 
Together, we are going to make New York City great again, and simultaneously, we're going to make America great again. Thank you. I have come tonight to talk about solving problems. The simple fact is Joe Biden is not getting the job done for the Bronx. He's not getting the job done for New York. And he's not getting the job done for America. He is incompetent, ladies and gentlemen. He is grossly incompetent. I want the job done as I did for four years, and I will get it done fast. Remember this, if a New Yorker can't save this country, no one can. No one can. Get me the, uh, get me the snake, please. The snake. Thank you, everybody. What a crowd. This is something. You know, we wanted to keep it small. Who knew? This is like a love fest. Love fest. It's a love fest. We love you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Wow. Who said we're not going to win New York? We're going to win New York so bad. The whole thing. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? We'll take back our country and we'll do a job like nobody's ever done before.